guys welcome back to my channel Yay! so for today's reading this one is gonna be super exciting very special um what do your ex-friends wish they can tell you now and i i'm the type of person i would love to see a reading like this because believe it or not i've been through it when it comes to friendships like i love women but you know things happen so in the friendship i need some answers so i hope you guys do as well because things have been crazy we've been curving people we've been focusing on ourselves we need to get to the bottom of what they wish they can tell us because we're not gonna find out we're not gonna hit them up first <laughs> so thank you so much for clicking on this video don't forget to hit that notification bell follow me on instagram and don't mind my busted nail bye guys we have here four beautiful piles we have here pile number one with this rose quartz pile number two with the selenite pile number three with the diamond and pile number four with my black tourmaline let's please meditate on these pause the video if needed so for my viewers that picked pile number one with this rose quartz what do your ex friends wish they can tell you? Oh my god, guys! I'm like, I'm like a little kid. Like, I really, I love this reading because I know I'm gonna go back to this video and pick my pile. Period. Um, but let's find out for you guys. Maybe this is my pile. I don't know. Maybe I don't know because I got that feeling. What do your ex friends wish they can tell you? Oh, Queen of Wands. Four of Pentacles in reverse and Five of Swords in reverse. Oh my God, pile number one. I knew it. So one thing's for sure. Your ex-friends, they wish they can tell you that. You actually look so cute. You look so good now. Like, you look better than ever. So basically, they will love to tell you that you look so good. Like, you look better than when they were, like, around you. Like, now you're really, you really glowed up, pal number one, period. And you know why I glowed up? Because I'm not around your vampire ass. That's why, period. We have here four of pentacles in reverse, and then we have here the five of swords in reverse. Heavy on the they regret what they did to you. I'm sorry. They regret taking advantage of you. They regret, oh my God, the bus is leaving. The bus outside, guys. That's what I'm talking about. But that just like symbolizes how you're something. Okay, basically, you see how the bus just left? You can hear the bus leaving. Basically, this person didn't appreciate you until you left their life literally like this ex-friend or a group of ex-friends they don't they're so upset because they feel like they will never get the real you again they will never get a second you again like they will never get that same you twice they will never get your energy the same like it's not gonna happen i don't know what they did to you guys but overall i feel like you're not trying to go back to the past you probably click on this video like yes let me find out so i don't have to but um with the queen of wands it's like you guys are definitely looking better than ever i feel like there's an energy of them wanting to be back into your energy as well we have here the lovers in reverse we have here the ten of wands in reverse and we have here the six of swords in reverse this person definitely i feel like if they can go back in time and just rewind everything and not like have arguments with you or may or make you feel bad or stressed out like this they will go back to it because i feel like overall after you left this person this person began to be very insecure i feel like their life turned through a 360 basically it turned through a, uh it went through like mad changes but the changes were not in their favor basically so i feel like they also wish they can tell you that things haven't been good with them that ever since you left like things have been shaky like you know they feel like their karma that's their karma for taking advantage of you and not appreciating you when you were there for them and like leaving you out in the cold like that's what they get because now they feel left out in the cold they feel like they can't they can't find no other friend like you they can't find nobody that will listen to their problems like you or help them solve them like you wow we have here more this per this ex-friend could have been an air sign an aries gemini aquarius 
We have here the thinking man, deceit, and the world. Um, your ex friends, they know they were very deceitful towards you. They know what they did. Um, if you think that they don't know what they were doing or plotting or whatever they did, they did. Like, they were aware 100% of whatever they did to you. So, I'm here to tell you that now they're the ones literally in this mental conflict because of what, the things that they've done to you and not appreciating you. While you have the world, they're, they're thinking about the ways that they were deceitful with the thinking man. And they're thinking about it and all. And they're actually regretting it because now they see the glow in your life. And they're like, damn, I definitely fucked up. Because if this person is doing better than I am, it's because I definitely was stopping this person's success. I was the one that was stopping everything. Um, now they feel worthless because now you're doing better than them, guys. Paul number one, I don't know what you do, but you're definitely doing better than them. And they can see you. I feel like a lot of these ex-friends do watch you. They do watch you, guys, from a distance. And I can tell by the eyes in this person's. They watch you through fake pages. They do watch you. They keep up with you, believe it or not. Like, keeping up with the Kardashians, I heard. Like, they're keeping up with you. But the thing here is that they're paying for their karma because they're the ones that every time they look at your page, they're like, shit, damn, I really messed up. Like, wow, like, I really fucked up this friendship. Like, they really wish you were there again. They really wish that they could be in your world again, pile number one. We have here the devil. We have here the five of swords again and the three of pentacles. A lot of your ex-friends did you nasty, pile number one. I don't know what to tell you. Did, do, did you deserve that? No, you didn't. You did not deserve that at all. But I'm here to tell you that you lost the little battle. Okay, you lost the battle, but you won the war. Okay, you won the war, pile number one. You won because... All these people that did you wrong while you was just giving out genuine love, all these ex-friends, they're now in toxic situations that they cannot leave. They now are chained to the things that they did to you because they can't stop thinking about it. And if you're spiritual, damn, even so, they think that you put a hex on them or like your your ancestors that are coming to get them, like some shit like that, like word two. Overall, your ex-friends, they're really regretful. But it's like they're not stopping. You thought that they were just hurting you. They were hurting other people as well. And I tell, I tell people this all the time. The way people act got nothing to do with you. The, the way that people act, the way people, somebody call you a bitch, that got nothing to do with you. Honestly, it doesn't. I, I was reading this book. I'm still reading this book. And it said here, when somebody gives you a gift, right? And you're like, no, I don't want the gift anymore. I don't want it. What happens to the gift? They stay with the gift. The same thing when people say stupid shit to you or call you out your name. If you don't take it, it's for them. It's going to curse them. But once you react to anything that somebody says to you, you're automatically taking it for yourself. So I'm here to tell you, pal number one, whatever these people did to you, nothing personal. You know why? Because now they're digging a hole up for themselves. They're out here sabotaging relationships that God has sent them. You're actually this person's karma. I feel like you, you probably came into these people's life to show them what in reality is a good person. And now that they missed out on what's the good person, now they regret that now they're regretful. Now they're regretful for the rest of their lives because now for, they'll forever go back to their lives and think about how genuine and good of a person you are, how loyal of a friend you were, how you were willing to fight for everything and be there for them. But they just constantly just couldn't see you. They couldn't see your genuine, your genuine side. They couldn't see how much you cared for them. They were only caught up to the, you know... With the devil, I see her luxuries caught with the eye. They thought that there were there was more out there. There were better friends out there that people will be like you all the time. And no, absolutely not. They hit the nail with this one right here. And so what else do your ex-friends wish they can tell you? We have here fulfillment of wishes in reverse. Movement choices and decisions in reverse. Rest and rejuvenate in reverse. What they would like to tell you is that they're going through mental anguish. They have no peace in their life. They wish they can call you and tell you about all the drama that they have in your life. In their life. Um, Paul number one, you don't need that. You don't miss that. You don't need none of this energy. 
this is really bad energy this is somebody that's just wanting to dump all of their situations onto people i feel like people used to do that to you dump all their situations onto you and you used to go crazy for them people and while they're just relaxing and chilling you're, you're out here going through mental conflict about their own problems yeah that, all that is over now because we're spiritually awoke now we don't deal with people's problems we don't we don't do all that we don't hang with people that always got to emotionally dump on us we only be with people that gets like takes our mind out of our problems i'm telling you something if you're not hanging out with people that are taking your problems out of your head then those are not the people for you you're not supposed to be around people that are, are always depressed people that are always debbie downers you can't do that i don't see you with people like this part number one and not only that your ex friends wish that they can tell you that a lot of the things are not going their way they wish that they can ask you for some help they wish that you were there they wish that they can take a vacation with you or go on the old trips or the old places that you guys used to go to together um or do together whatever old things that you guys used to do together they wish that they can do that again it's a lot of like missing you but not really missing you pile number one if you get what i'm saying it's like missing more what you used to do for them which is really selfish but the karma for this person is that this person is definitely gonna be missing you a lot and thinking about the connection and how they fucked up they're really gonna feel bad about themselves heavily like really regretful they're gonna they're gonna pray to god and wish and pray to god that you come back i heard for some of you guys <laughs> With the last couple of messages we have here, the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Swords, damn, and the Knight of Wands, which your ex-friends wish they can tell you is that a lot of people in their lives are not being loyal to them or talking behind their back. Um, they have to absolutely fight with everything, with all the drama coming into their life, a lot of things that are coming into their life. Um, for some, they got people stealing from them, people taking away from them, people using them for their money. Pile number one, that's what your ex-friends wish they can tell you, that they had people using them for money, that they wish that they can be back into your energies. They wish they would have never fought you. I heard maybe some of you guys even physically fought this person. This person regrets it. This person regrets um being angry at you. This person regrets a lot of things. This person is definitely upset over... The relationship that they lost because they know that they could have they could have actually done better right now if they were around you for some reason i feel like you guys are doing really good when it comes spiritually maybe you guys been isolating yourself a lot of you guys been focusing on yourself i heard some of you guys been creating businesses been going with the business i feel like some of you guys been successful in the business area some of you guys are getting a lot of money i heard you guys been saving up some of you guys got passive income, I heard. Maybe you guys are creators, I heard for some of you guys. I don't know. This is for some. Some of you guys are still in school. They're seeing they're watching you almost graduating. Um, I don't know. All I get is a lot of messages of this person. This person is gonna be watching you at through your successes and watching you do good and basically watching you move on. This person is gonna watch you move on. And it's going to break a lot of these people's hearts that they're not going to be around you, pile number one. But who cares? Because they had you once. They didn't appreciate you. They misused you, misjudged you. It's over with. Let's get with the spiritual advice of this portion of the reading, period. So we have here, prosperity lies ahead. So just letting you guys know, if you thought you was prosperous, it's now getting better. We have here, confidence is your key to success, so use it in your advantage, pile number one. We have here, you and your loved ones are safe, so nothing to worry about. Everything is coming into your favor. Um, as long as you use your confidence, trust your intuition, and trust that life is working in your favor. Once you believe that, everything goes your way. If you have any questions, the angel answers are here. We have here no. So the answer is no if you have any question. And then perfect timing. So perfect timing for anything else you was wondering. So perfect timing. I feel like a lot of the things in your life will be happening in perfect timing. So no need to stress. No need to worry, pal number one. No need to be like, oh my God, my manifestations are not coming through. It's because something better is ahead, period. Um, let's jump into the power deck. We have here 
the point of power is always in the present moment period so some of you guys have to learn how to surrender and i know we have responsibilities we have to think about the responsibilities but sometimes when we just think about the moment and breathe and just look at our surroundings and just smile and i know it sounds vague guys but listen if you just live in the moment, your problems, even the biggest responsibilities that you have are going to look so small. So continue on. The past is over and done and has no power over me. I can begin to be free in this moment. Today's thoughts create my future. I am in charge. I now take my own power back. I am safe and I am free. So leaving the past in the past, even if it's these ex-friends, old friends, we need to learn that sometimes people aren't in our lives just for chapters, not for the whole book. So their chapter's over. We're meant to meet better people, better, more loving, more supportive people. There's so many people out here, guys. You guys are not missing out on nothing, not even a friend, not even a mean friend. You're not missing out on anything. So continue to be you. We have here, my thoughts are creative. I say out to every negative thought that comes to my mind no person place or thing has any power over me for i am the only thinker in my mind i create my own reality and everyone in it so remember guys for now on you will be creating your reality so watch your thoughts surrender and don't be wishful for old people we don't need that once you throw out the trash we don't go outside and look for it no it's over get the garbage man period so that's all for today bye guys so for the viewers that picked pile number two with the selenite or selene or selenite it is selenite i don't know why i always get this crystal confused in the beginning what do your ex-friends wish they can tell you guys mm. knight of wands in reverse the sun upright and the seven this is a hating ass ex-friend this is the hating ex-friend group i hear um very hateful people right here in this group Ooh, last pile was regretful this pile right here is like i don't give a fuck if you're doing better than me and you're not around me i don't fuck but i see here that basically these ex-friends they wish that you were around they wish you were around because i feel like for some of you guys you were really you were a really good vibe you were a really good vibe and i feel like it's not so much regretful energy coming towards this pile, but it's more like, you know, you brought a lot to the table. Ten of Pentacles, you brought a lot to the table. So when you left, it really hurt a lot of people's chests. <laughs> um, a lot of you guys were used, I heard. A lot of you guys were betrayed. A lot of people talk shit about you behind your back, I heard. Pile number two. They wish they can tell you that they that they see you doing good. They see you being healthy. That they see you. Um, that they trying to get to your level. That's what I heard. A lot of them are trying to like copy your steps. For some of you guys, you probably have ex-friends that are really much copycatters. Um, ex-friends that will like, like your partners. I feel like some of you guys will have friends that will just be interested in your partners. And look, the bus just came, so that's true. Um, and, it's, and it's just leaving right now. Um... Yeah, a lot of you guys got a lot to bring to the table. I get like heavy Capricorn vibes for a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are Tauruses, Aquarius, but really bosses. Some of you, you guys are bosses, power number two. Boss-like energy. I don't know what you do, but you're a boss. Um, you're headed to that boss. Even if you're working nine to five right now, bosses always start from somewhere. But um, these ex-friends, they wish they can tell you that. They see you doing good and that, you know, they wish that they were in your energy but it is what it is it's like they don't really care they don't really care they're not watching their toxic vibes i feel like overall these people are still toxic these people are still in toxic situations these people have addictions your ex-friends believe it or not i feel like a lot of the things that they show out to the world is not really them i feel like for the most part, they struggle. For the most part, they're always comparing their lives to yours as well. So this is a very hateful energy, pile number two. So if you have any ex-friends, I'm here to tell you that it's time to put that block button. It's time to release. 
it's time to let go even if these people were in your old school i don't care just let them go because at the end of the day or old classmates at the end of the day these people they're just comparing their lives to you all the time so that's creating like a lot of negative energy a lot of evil eye for some of you guys i don't know maybe your things break in the house around or maybe you'll post something you'll post a shirt and you'll just spill water all over it. like it's a lot of things that happen to your items believe it or not that's evil eyes so this is why me i don't even post anything i don't even post a pair of shoes i get you know why because that shit used to always happen to me i will post let's say my favorite glass i will post a video with my favorite glasses and then my glasses will break i'm not lying and this is why i don't post on social media I will soon, guys, because I feel like once I start deleting those old people, it's going to be fine. Like, you know. But overall, we have to watch what we post on social media, pound number two, because you guys are divinely guided. And you're the light. And a lot of people are going to want to be like you. You're, since you're divinely guided, a lot of things are handed to you. People don't understand why you're so lucky and everything you do. But if you feel you're not lucky, I'm here to tell you that you're going to be walking through a very lucky period in your life. So a lot of these ex-friends are going to be watching and craving. Some of them are even going to hit you up, pal number two. So be careful and say, hey, I forgive you, but um, it's not going to be the same. Bye. We have your angel of strength. Forbes chakra Archangel Michael. So another thing that your ex-friends wish they can tell you is that they see you spiritually woke. That's how true it is because my bottle pop. Um, they see, they see you spiritually woke. They see you tapping into your spirituality. I feel like they like the fact that, you know, at least you're tapping into the things that you like and tapping into the spirituality. Um, it makes them sick to their stomach, though, to know that you know a lot of things that they don't know. Because since some of you guys are psychic, it's like you have the power of knowing. So a lot of you guys just know when people are applying. Some of you guys just know certain things. We have here the Empress. We have here the High Priestess, the Intuitive card, which I was just saying that some of you guys are super fucking psychic. Um, um, what they wish they can tell you is that, you know, they're jealous. They, they're not going to tell you they're jealous, but they wish that they can tell you that you're actually doing way better than them. They would have never thought that you would be doing but way better than them in a million years. That they see you tapping into your spiritual powers, your magical powers, and it's a little overwhelming. I feel like they feel like, you know, you're going to be moving and upgrading really fast while they're going to be left behind. Um, they wish they can tell you that a lot of the things that they were planning on doing didn't work out. So, you know, they wish they can tell you that they also look back to your pictures and miss you. Some of them, some of your ex-friends, because I feel like you were you were somebody that used to take all the baggage. You used to be somebody that used to be there for people, regardless of their situations. A lot of you guys were people pleasers and you didn't even know that. You used to do a lot just to make other people happy. You will probably be in the room with a group of people and be like, damn, how is everybody feeling? Like, did I say anything wrong? When in reality, though, you're supposed to feel like, damn, am I comfortable right now? Mm, are they matching my energy? You know what I'm saying? But I think you guys overall, if you're not changing already, you have already changed. And I feel like you're spiritually woke and you don't play those games no more. I feel like you put yourself first all the time. And they see that. We have here a spiritual union. Positive movement forward and sacrifice. Um, a lot of your ex-friends will want to tell you like they're happy that you're in a loving relationship. For some of you guys that are in loving relationships already, they're like, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. Um, I'm glad that you met the love of your life. I'm really happy for you. You know, um, a lot of them are being jealous that you do have a partner. What they wish they can tell you is that, you know, things haven't been working in their favor. That's what they wish they could tell you, that they can go and cry to you and tell you how many things have not been working in their lives and how they feel so bad for sacrificing you out of their lives and for the things that they did to you and making you feel bad overall. I feel like this person probably misjudged you a lot or judged who you are. And I feel like it got to the point where it was really toxic and you couldn't stand it anymore. Like you found yourself being more anxious around this person than being happy. You found yourself overthinking a lot of things. You found yourself you found yourself stopping the things that you wanted to tell this person and and you know you told yourself like, "Hey, I can't I can't continue this like fake persona anymore. I got to just you know, stop being their friend because I can't keep lying about how I'm doing because I'm scared that these people are going to either be jealous, overwhelmed, or want to judge me all the time, you know? It's, you got to remove your energy. 
to something that matches more your vibration and i feel like you did that with the four of cups i feel like a lot of you guys are either isolated or in solitude or just focused on yourself or you probably have the really right people in your life right now people that don't judge you people that support you people that are loving people that take care of you all the time we have here the queen of cups in reverse and the two of cups in reverse so a lot of these ex-friends they regret hurting you and they wish that they can tell you that you know they wished you the best and that you're happy um they are jealous they are envious they do compare their lives to you but overall they realize that you were a good person and that you deserve a happy ending regardless of the situation that y'all had together you still deserve a happy ending because you didn't do anything wrong to them you were actually really genuine and very kind and you know you did right by isolating yourself from them they say um, the spirit guys say that as well that you were right and separating yourself from a lot of people but that now this is going to be helping you advance more this is going to add more improvements in your life this is going to make you guys feel overall like a better person so nothing to worry about and at least these ex-friends are hating but from a distance but i'm gonna tell you guys their negative energy or their hate hateful like mentality about you or envious or envy is not gonna touch you you guys are divinely guided especially with the intuitive cards that i got you guys are divinely guided you are in your zone right now pay attention to your intuition and don't trust everybody with your personal information pile number two that's the energy that i'm getting here so let's tap into the advice section of this reading we have here communication is key and you're you're very close to achieving your goals so consistency keep at it keep posting keep working keep saving keep working out whatever you're doing keep at it because it's working guys and you're so close i don't care you're so close and with communication is key communicate with your body what do you want to do today how are you feeling what do you want to eat like communicate more with yourself test your intuitive skills test your psychic skills you know if you're constantly you know thinking about how your psychic skills are not up to part they're not going to be up to part you got to be confident with your psychic skills some of you guys i heard okay not everybody but some of you guys got to be more confident with your psychic skills because it's going to be really useful for you and your future so yes trusting that gut period if you have any questions the angel answers are here so we have here look for a sign and unlikely so you already got your answers unlikely and look for a sign um signs are everywhere guys the birds the trees the the fucking signs the boards the mcdonald's um even the gas station um prices those are numbers those are signs always looking for that we have here with the power of deck power of thought deck we have here there is plenty for everyone including me the ocean of life is uh, lavish with its abundance. All my needs and desires are met before I even ask. My good comes from everywhere and everyone and everything. So guys, don't feel like you're left behind. Like you can be so much ahead if you were, you know, don't think like that. Think that you're at the right moment at the right time and everything that's for you is going to come for you. And remember, abundance is limitless. Believe me, guys, they print money. The government prints money. There's abundance for everybody. There's space on YouTube for everybody. There's everything for everybody. Don't include everybody in your plans because that will be your form of destruction. When you worry about you, yourself, you can never go wrong. You don't see nobody but you. Who, gonna, who you going to lose to if you don't see yourself? If you only see yourself. Who are you going to lose to? Nobody. You can only lose to yourself. So that's the message for some of you guys. And I am willing to forgive. You know, forgiveness of myself and others releases me from the past. Forgiveness is the answer to almost every problem. Remembering to release and forgive. You guys are not that hurt. You guys are not your ex-friends. You're not that old past things that people placed on you, that old bullying. You're not none of that. That doesn't define you. So get it out the way. Clear it out the book if you need to. Throw out that book. Rip the chapter. Burn the chapter. Do whatever you got to do. But release it from haunting you ever again. Because the future is now, guys. And we're here to live it. 
period. We're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. So we got to experience and live to the fullest, period. So love those that love on you. Live in the moment. And that's all for today. Bye, guys. So for my viewers that picked pile number three with this beautiful diamond. What do your ex-friends wish they can tell you? Let's jump into this reading. For some reason, I'm hearing a lot of depressing people. A lot of people regret hurting you. A lot. Ton of lollipops, ton of coins, king of wands. Your ex-friends wish that, the, 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 oh my God, they have so much to tell you. That's what I say. A lot of these people got a lot of drama that they want to put you on to or they want to tell you. But you're not in that energy anymore, pile number three, I see here. But um, they wish that they can tell you that they see you doing better for yourself. They see you standing up for yourself and doing what you're supposed to do for yourself. They wish that they can tell you that they that they wish that you were in their life because they're going through a really rough patch. And they wish that you were with them during this time. I don't know, for some reason, for a lot of the piles, their ex-friends were doing pretty bad. I keep telling you guys, you know, the way you treat people is sending out the playing field for, for how you're going to be treated. Honestly, so... Uh, I don't know what to tell y'all with that one. Pound number three, especially you guys, treat people the way you want to be treated, pound number three. Because a lot of these people didn't treat you with that type of respect. They didn't even give you an ounce of love, not even an ounce of loyalty. And now th their life is crumbling. And they're watching you glow. They're watching you step in your power. They're watching you moving on, moving in, um, meeting people, going out. And they're like, damn. I wish I was in this person's life. Death, Ace of Wands, and the Page of Cups in reverse. So they see you in your solidarity. They see huge changes that have happened in your life. They wish that they could have been in your life when these changes came. But apparently they weren't. <laughs> they just weren't there. Um, I feel like for a lot of them, they were meant to, to leave your life. I feel like a lot of your ex-friends were supposed to leave your life so that you could be, become a better you, a better person. Believe it or not, they were supposed to leave your life, pal number three. These people did not wish you better than them. You know the saying that people want to see you good but not better than them? This is that type of friends that I see here. Like, very judgy and very, like, not honest. Like, I don't hate... I don't hate things, but I always say that, that I don't hate anything, but I really dislike liars. Like, there's no reason for you to lie. Like, there's no reason for it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of these people have been lying and dragging situations. I feel like a lot of these people dragged you into drama, like literally dragged you into drama. And, you know, that's not the vibe. I feel like now they're looking outside and they're like, wow, like this person is really mature now, angel of balance. Their life is balanced. They're walking into spirituality um, and I'm here stuck, you know, thinking about the past and what I did and I feel bad because I really broke this person. This person is aware that they really hurt your feelings. I don't know, for some of you guys, this person did actually hurt your feelings, made you feel worthless, made you feel insecure, like you weren't worthy of good friends or people People will never like you, you know, that's what that, they made you feel like that. Um, door to spirit they like you know they wish that you could teach them a bit more about spirituality if they were in your life so basically they, they're liking the things that you like now and they wish that they were in your life because now they feel like you and them probably have something in common but it's like it's too late for all that i feel like you wouldn't even give this person the time of day pile number three um good for you don't because i feel like once people crumble you once they'll find every other opportunity to do it again and I feel here that now they're watching you in your power, Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups, and they're seeing you isolated, you know. It's like, wow, you're, you're, you're so mature, you're so wise now, you're doing so good for yourself. It's like they can see your capabilities before you can see it. Pound number three, your ex-friends wish that they can tell you that they see you becoming better than them. They see you being in your power, pound number three. They see you, you know, walking on this earth by yourself, getting it all done by yourself. And they're proud of you. But, you know, 
they're also upset that they can't have your cup anymore. They're upset that you will never give them the time of day anymore. I feel like a lot of these people feel regretful for what they did because now they feel like you have literally been at a point in your life where you don't trust anybody. You keep to yourself because of them. They feel like they scarred you. And for some of you guys, they did scar you. A lot of these friends that you really trust, they scarred you. And now they're regretful because now you're gonna only be winning you're only gonna be getting better and i feel like a lot of these people are still stuck in their toxic ways stuck with people that don't give them the time of day people that don't care about them and this is the energy that they was giving out to you and this is the energy that they're receiving now period but they don't know that yet i feel like a lot of the a lot of your ex-friends they don't realize that their karma is dumb is dumb living out what they put out you know what i'm saying we have here harmony base chakra and spiritual strength they wish that they can tell you that they see you in your power now that you're like more powerful than ever they're kind of even scared of you and the power you hold now they're scared that you're even you're even gonna either curse them out or like just be like shoo bye you know what i'm saying and as you should because now you're this mature person i don't know who you guys are wise or mature wise but i feel like spiritually you have really advanced and i feel like a lot of these ex-friends they're not in your level anymore, problem with you. They're not on your level, and they know that. And it's really hard for them to even come near you anymore. So don't be surprised if some of them, you know, try to hit you up like, oh, my God, I'm so happy for you. But at the end of the day, they're just comparing their lives. At the end of the day, they're just regretful because a lot of the things that they did to you are coming back to them, and they're realizing that. Some of them think that you might put something on them which is ridiculous like we're not out here putting hexes on anybody if anything you're creating your reality keep thinking like that you know people don't know that they're being cursed until they're believing that they're being cursed why let me just shut up you cannot be cursed until you believe so you know what i'm saying your mind tricks people your mind can trick you people don't understand the mind is a very powerful tool the mind can be tricky anything you focus on will become your fucking reality i always say this because these friends out here they thinking that their life is oh it's such a wrecking because they hurt you but in reality they're the ones creating it for themselves because you're not even worried about this person i feel like some of you guys are just worried about your career worried about getting better and better we have here with the knight of wands in reverse the three of swords in reverse again and we have here the hangman a lot of you guys are healing you're not worried about anybody you're just healing working on you healing your past hurts becoming a better you overall just overall character development for this group and these people they're still behind they're still thinking toxic they're still in that toxic flow you guys did good moving on i see here and these people they regret not being in your circle so kudos to them and for a lot of you guys your wishes will be coming true and these people are gonna have to watch you be successful without them unfortunately and i feel like once you heal they're gonna start healing they're gonna start healing and thinking back about when they hurt you and stuff um let's dive into the spiritual advice of this portion of the reading we have here hold your vision and your dreams need a practical plan so a lot of you guys been focusing on you focusing on how to um develop yourself keep planning keep journaling guys keep writing affirmations keep manifesting keep telling yourself that you're so beautiful and everybody tells you keep telling yourself i am so rich i'm telling you right now hold your vision on any project that you have ongoing any project that you want to start keep at it guys because it will bring great abundance your intuition i always tell people this your intuition is your best friend that's the number one thing that's going to push you to the right direction and place you in places that you're meant to be at if you have any questions the angel answers are here we have here a year from now so a year from now you can see this happening. Get more information. So get more information on anything you've been working on or anything you've been asking or inquiring about. Get more information. And from a year a year from now, you'll see it. Anything that was in your mind or on your mind about any situation in a year from now, you got it. Let's dive into the power deck. We have here, I am flexible and flowing. 
I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life effortlessly and easily. Some of you guys are living in the moment. I'm so proud of you guys. Continue on living in the moment, surrendering, because the best things happen to those that are just flowing with life and believe that life only brings the good in things. Only good things can come. So only good things derive, period. We have here, I can release the past and forgive everyone. Aww. I free myself and everyone in my life from old past hurts. They are free and I am free to move into our new glorious experiences. So some of you guys are going to be stepping into forgiving a lot of people in your past, including family, friends, anybody that hurt you. You're going to be releasing that. So you're going to be doing a lot of healing. And take in mind, pile number three, that once this healing come about... This is when the career advancements come. This is when you guys are going to have the business plans. This is when you guys are going to be moving forward, moving, period. So that's all for today. Love those that love on you and continue to be in the moment. Okay, guys? Bye, guys. So for my pound number four that picked this um, black tourmaline, black tourmaline, last but not least, let's hop into your reading. I'm mad excited for this group. What is it? A lot of you guys cut a lot of people off. What happened? We have here the ace. The two of pentacles and we have here the moon in reverse um oh my god a lot of these friends i feel like you have friends that picked other friends over you a lot of friends that just was not in your vibe a lot of friends that just were in competition with you all the time pile number four i'm here to tell you pile number four they are fucking regretting every bit of it they're regretting being indecisive indecisive over you they're regretting picking people over you they're regretting everything that they did to you you know why because now they're living with those same people that they chose over you and now they're like nah this is not what i signed up for this is not what i wanted this is not please bring my old crowd back please bring my old friend back y'all hear that spaceship outside that's how true it is that's how true it is Th these people are highly regretful for what they did to you we have here the Ten of Cups, the Fool, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. A lot of these people are paying for their karma right now, pile number four. They're watching you be happy, living your life, you know, living your dream life, living your dreams out loud. You know what I'm saying? And this person being confident as well. I heard a lot of you guys are being confident, stepping into your skin, you know, and this person is just feeling insecure by the day, getting hurt by the day, getting added to drama by the day. A lot of the things that you walked away for, this person is still dealing with those issues, pound number four. So I'm here to tell you, congratulations, because you did right. You did right. These people right here... They were just self-sabotaging themselves. They were sabotaging everything good in their lives. It's like people that they can't ha they can't get a hold of good things. Like people have to have toxic individuals in their life. Like that's the only way that they can be happy. But they can't appreciate the people that are there for them, that love them, that are giving them advice, that are standing up for them. They can't appreciate those people. Oh yeah, I don't want to hang out with them right now. Oh, yeah, but you want to go hang out with the person that is all day on their phone talking about boys and talking about the opposite sex and talking about, you know, doing people dirty. But that's the energy that you like, right? That's the energy. This person thought the grass was greener on the other side, pile number four. That's the heavy energy I'm getting here. They took your friendship for granted. They took, a lot of people took your love for granted. You was there for a lot of people and they took it for granted. I feel like they chose a lot of other connections over you. Um, I can relate to this pile a lot. Like, you know, people stealing your ideas and then going out with other friend groups and doing the same things, leaving, leaving, leaving you out in the cold for a lot of you guys, you know, leaving you behind, leaving you at the club, you know, just leaving you behind, guys. Guys, it's a lot of people, people that you used to party with that they just regret doing you dirty. Indecision, again, the thinking woman in reverse. And we have here yin and yang. It's like now they see you for who you are and they're like, wow, we really missed out on something so special. You know, now they're more mature and now they're realizing that their past actions really dug them in a hole, pile number four. So I'm here to tell you that all those old energies, they're very regretful. They're very, very regretful. They're watching you in your power. They're watching you grow. They're watching you live your life. And they're not only, the only thing that they can think about is the way that they did you wrong. And that's the best karma ever. Them thinking about all the things that they did wrong to you. Mm -hmm. Living it twice. Now they got to live it for themselves because not only got, they got to, um, 
think about the things that they did to you. But now they got to live the experiences as well because that's what they've been manifesting. Doing that to other people. Now they, now they got people doing it to them. You know what I'm saying? I tell you guys all the time, you know, the way people treat you got nothing to do with you. If I can look back a thousand a thousand times to anything that somebody said to me, judged me, um, a friend that fucking belittled me, a friend that made me feel so bad about myself, I can tell you right now, in this moment, I could tell you right now that that was all a reflection of their own lives. All a reflection of their own lives. We have here... The Three of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and the Magician. A lot of you guys are manifestors. A lot of you guys are bringing magic into your life. And a lot of these people are seeing you grow. They're seeing you celebrate with other people. I feel like some of you guys probably found your soul tribe. Some of you guys probably found really good groups of people that you can relate to, that you're having fun. So a lot of your old energies, a lot of your old ex-friends, they're watching you have fun, live your life, be with new people, see you doing things for friends that they could... Basically, they're seeing you do things for your friends that they know that you would have done for them and it hurts them they're like wow like i wish that was still this person's friend this person would have really treated me nice this person would have really did that for me you know what i'm saying so it's a lot of regret coming from this group overall a lot of regret and a lot of like haunting like real haunting i don't know who your ancestors are pound number four but they don't play they don't play because a lot of these people they can't sleep at night thinking about the way that they did you we have here temptation a lot of these people are attempting to you know hit you back up a lot of these people already hit you back up but um it's because their life is in ruins and so they're watching your life they're comparing their life that's why i tell a lot of people here you gotta let go of those old friends ex-friends you gotta delete them from your social media you gotta de delete them from your life overall because they're either gonna be jealous of your new accomplishments or they're gonna be comparing themselves in competition or even try to copy you pile number four so this is the energy that's coming in here for a lot of you guys and a lot of the old people in your past nothing new is going on with them so don't worry about if you're missing out on anything or if you were wrong and cutting people off no you weren't i feel like everybody that is not meant to be in your life were not meant to be in your life so you did right pile number for this spiritual evolution that you made this shit is for your advantage overall because these people are still in the reckons and if you and you would have been with them right there you would have actually been joining them pile number four so be thankful that you're not in this energy anymore and that these people got to watch you do better than them now so i know they hurt you i know they said things that they weren't supposed to i know they broke your heart pile number four but i'm here to tell you that it's now all over and it's all behind you and what they did to you had nothing to do with you but a lot to do with their miserable lives because their lives were miserable all the time you were this light you were this angel you were supposed to come into these people's life and teach them teach them what a good person was you were this person's karma, pile number four, so be thankful. We have here with the last couple messages, pile number four, we have here the emperor. You know what I'm saying here? The page of swords and the queen of coins. A lot of these people wish that you were back in their energy so that you can help them. It's really selfish here. So that's what I'm telling a lot of you guys. Any old ex-friends that hit you back up, do not answer pound number four because they're just plotting to use you. They're plotting to use your time, use your spiritual gifts. They're plotting on just using you overall. They're going to give you a big ass apology and they're going to be about their day. They're going to think everything is just fine and peaceful. Sorry for the, for the loud noise outside. I don't know what is going on in New York today. Um... I'm here to tell you guys, you guys are the emperor, your bosses. These people, these old friends and energies, they're going to have to see you be rich. They're going to have to see you be in your power. They're going to have to see you become a boss. They're going to have to see you do a lot of the things for other friends that they could have, they missed out on, period. A lot of you guys are really good friends. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm sorry for what they did to you. They didn't deserve you. I wish I had a friend like you, you know? I was always that friend. I was always like you, pound number four. But then I never had anybody appreciate me, pound number four. I, I used to go around doing free stuff for people. And people wouldn't even invite me to their house. People wouldn't even, you know, try to put me out there like their friend. You know what I'm saying? People wouldn't even try to show me off. People will always try to make me in the background. People will always judge me for my clothing and stuff back in the day. You know what I'm saying? And now it's like, wow, we really had an earth angel in this in my life. Like I really had a person that loved me in my life and now I don't. I had somebody that was willing to fight people for me and now I have nobody. Nobody that can stand up for me.
You know what I'm saying? Problem number four. A lot of these people are regretful for what they did to you. And I'm here to tell you that you're a light being. And you deserve better people. You're on your way to meeting better people, pile number four. And you don't need none of these people. You didn't need them at all. If anything, they needed you more than you needed them. You were a light and you were needed, okay? And you still are. They still crave your energy. You were, you're a trendsetter, pile number four. You're a boss. And a lot of people, they regret not being around you anymore because they will never find somebody like you respectfully. You're down to earth, you're a party, or you're a go-getter, you can have fun, you can live in the moment, you're optimism, you give people hope. Come on now, you're a wonderful human being, your energy is beautiful, and you're beautiful overall as well. So now these people are like, damn, what did I miss out on for being childish? The worst feeling in the world, pound number four, I'm gonna be honest with you, is regret. Regret is the worst feeling of the in the world, regret. The fact that you can't be with somebody that you used to really hang out with is sad. Let's dive into the um, portion of advice of this reading we have here. Believe in the impossible. We have here, nothing will come out of this situation. Wow. So let the old go, pile number four, because you're stepping into newer things, newer advances. And with believe in the impossible, dream big because you're going to be able to do everything you ever wanted to in this lifetime. Wow. Some of you guys are really like meant for really good things I heard. So, hey, n don't stress the old. Let's go with the new and let's continue to build up and dream big, period. If you have any questions, the angel answers are here. So we have here abundance, period. Everything in your life right now is going to be bringing abundance. So please stay thinking positive. Stay thinking in the moment. We have here, ask your angels. So any other question you have, ask around you. Ask the angels. Ask the birds. Ask all the energies around you. You're going to see the numbers, guys. You're going to see it on the clock. You're going to see a post. You're, you're going to come across your answer. Just look for it, period. And we have here with the power of deck, it is safe to look within. And when, it, when this card comes up, it's saying like, for example, it is safe to look within yourself and trust your intuition it's okay to trust yourself and trust the decisions that come up and that you're gonna come up with the best option your guy you guys have your life handled period pound number four you have nothing to worry about as i move through the layers of other people's opinions and beliefs i see within myself a magnificent being wise and beautiful so regardless of the things that were placed on you regardless of what people judge you for you are you pound number four and you're gonna continue to glow and grow so continue on and with the last deck i forgive myself so continue to forgive yourself for putting yourself in these situations sometimes the shadow work requires us to, requires us to realize that a lot of the things that happen to us were our fault because we put ourselves there. But then we also have to realize that we have to forgive ourselves because we didn't know any better either. We didn't know how to be treated. So we had to go through these situations with people so that now we know how we would like to be treated. Now we know the type of friends that we want in our lives. And so that the universe can continue to bless us with what, what we want. But if the universe doesn't know what we want, we have to learn. Even if it's the hard way, guys. We have here, as I forgive myself, I leave behind all feelings of not being good enough and i am free to love myself so continue to love yourself and to, and to love those that love on you pound number four heavy on that okay so continue to live in the moment leave the past in the trash and continue to glow and grow period be you love on you and that's all for today bye guys